So while we're here, let's just have a little chat about gall because the spring is the ideal time to check your plants to see if they've been affected. Gall is caused by a bacteria that naturally lives in the soil in the United Kingdom. However, dahlias are not native and they are affected by this bacteria and it causes them to have confused and distorted growth. Now problems occur when a dahlia tuber is damaged and then that allows the bacteria to get into the plant. Now, there's a couple of ways that this can happen and it's an open wound so if we have a really wet summer or if you overwater your dahlia tuber and you make it rot or it rots from the wet summer that damages the tuber leaves an open wound under the ground allowing the bacteria to get in. The way is if you have a dahlia with gall in your garden and you didn't spot it, it grows and then you cut it with secateurs and then cut a healthy plant, you transfer the bacteria or aphids could do that for you. Now it's so much easier to check for gall in the spring because the plants are quite slow to start, you can see the gall appearing quicker than the plant can grow. So it's really very obvious. Towards the end of the season, if your dahlia has contracted gall later, you might not realise even after it's gone to sleep for the winter because the growth was so far ahead and so vigorous that the gall can't keep up. Does that make sense? But then in the spring, everything is reset and the growth and the bacteria are on the starting blocks and the bacteria is quicker. So that's why you can spot it. Having said all of that, you can imagine that it is actually, if you possibly can, more sensible to start your dahlias in individual pots at the beginning of the season because if they have gall, they're already quarantined and you can throw the pot, the soil and the tuber out with the rubbish and the gall out of your garden. However, if you plant them directly in the ground, you might not notice for a while. See that it started the season really well and we've got strong healthy stems but at some point during the season it looks like it's been bitten probably by a thrip from next door um, and it's contracted crown gall disease and we've got lots and lots of really small confused growths now so what will happen next year you won't get any of this strong growth the daily tuber will try and produce way too many shoots and nothing will come to anything so this needs to go in the bin.